I did it. Y'all, I did it. I bought a Dyson Airwrap Complete. I never thought this day would come. As you know, it's been around for a while and I feel like in the last year, it has just made a resurgence. Everybody is talking about it. And I've been thinking about it ever since it came out. I have naturally thick wavy hair and anything that can help me smooth it out, protect my hair against damage, I am definitely into. So I finally decided to bite the bullet. Honestly, what made me purchase it is because I saw that on QVC, you could pay for it in installments. And that just, to me, made me feel a little bit better. It made me feel a little better, okay, about getting it. So I did it, here we are. I got the Dyson Airwrap Complete. It has, it has six attachments. So it has the pre-styling dryer, two air wrap barrels. It has a 1.2 and a 1.6 air wrap barrel. It has two smoothing brushes. One is a firm smoothing brush, which gives you a little bit smoother and straighter, and then a soft smoothing brush. And then finally, the round voluminizing brush. I will say I'm mostly interested in the smoothing brush and the air wrap barrels. Really curious to see how that is going to work on my hair. I am so freaking excited to just get into this and try it. So please excuse the wet hair while we go through this unboxing portion. So I already pulled it out of the shipping box and this is just what it looks like here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Right, so it comes in this really nice case. You can see it says Dyson right on top. It's kind of like almost like a terracotta color. Really pretty. Okay, this little flap thing in here. Not sure what that is for. It's got like a velvet inside. So some more packaging. Okay. All right, so this looks like this is the base of it. Right here with the cord. And then it's got all of the attachments right inside. So there is the round brush, soft smoothing brush, firm smoothing brush. This is, I believe, just like the regular blow dryer attachment. And then you have your different sized barrels. There's four different sized barrels, two 1.2 air wrap barrels and two 1.6 air wrap barrels. I'm not sure why they have two of the same size barrels. Um, that's a good question. I'm gonna look that up to see why that is. <laughs> The Dyson Airwrap is meant to work on multiple hair types. I personally have a very thick curly hair. I would say it's more of a wavy texture versus a curly because it's definitely not curly like a true ringlet. But yes, I have very thick, frizzy, wavy hair. So I am personally very curious in the smoothing brush attachment and the round brush attachment. I am going to be testing both in today's video. So I'll do one side with a kind of like loose curl and then the other side with the smoothing brush to see just how smooth it actually gets. If you have naturally wavy or curly hair, then you know how difficult it can be to get your natural texture out of your hair with a round brush or with a straightener. So I feel like the value to me in this is going to be just how smooth and straight that it can get. I'm starting with wet hair so I'm just going to comb through my hair with my wet brush. And then for the products, I always use this Bumble and Bumble Thermal Protection Mist. This is just a heat protection. I always use this whenever I am using heat on my hair. And then I'm using something new. I'm using the Oribe Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. Um, this is the first time that I've ever used this, but there are a lot of great reviews on this. So I'm excited to give this a try.
then I'm just going to do one more brush through my hair to distribute the product evenly. Okay, this is the base, as I mentioned before. And as you can see, it's got the on and off button. It has a temperature control button and then an airflow button. And I'm going to be using, they actually call this a pre-styling dryer. So I'm just gonna dry my hair a little bit before I move on to the other attachments. And this is my first time using it. So we'll see how this goes. Oh. that's pretty good. I will say my initial reaction is, um, you know, I have thick hair, so blow drying my hair can take a really long time. I don't think that this was faster than any other blow dryer, but I will say this was on the highest setting. I didn't even intentionally put it on the highest setting. It was just on there already, and it wasn't very loud, as you might have heard, and I feel like it was also on the hottest setting, but it never, there was never like a time where I had it sitting on my head where it like almost burnt my head. Um, so it doesn't get too hot, which is really nice and it's quiet. And I will say um, it feels really good. So pretty impressed so far with that. But like I said, I don't think it blow dries my hair any faster than any other hair dryer. Okay, so now I'm going to be moving on to, I think we'll start with the smoothing brush. Now to remove the attachment, it says to just hit the release button. So you can see right there. I'm gonna be using the firm smoothing brush because it says that this gives a smoother, straighter style and I wanna see just how true that is. Okay. Okay, so I feel like this side of my head is already dry, which is crazy. I know that I just said that the pre-styling dryer, it wasn't any quicker than using a regular hair dryer, but in combination with this, the fact that my hair is already dry is just kind of crazy to me. It does look pretty smooth. I will say it's not as smooth as I like it just because it's not like stick straight, like with a straightener. I will say I did have my doubts on it actually being able to really get it smooth, but it's pretty decently smooth. You can see there's still a little bit of wave at the very bottom closer to my head, but I am pretty impressed with that. The fact that my hair is already dry is pretty crazy to me. <laughs> Moving on to the 1.6 barrel, I'm pretty nervous to use this because it sounds like this is going to take a little bit of time to get used to using, so we'll see how this goes for my first time. Looks like in the videos that I've seen that you don't want to put the hair up right to the barrel because it kind of like catches it. So. Not great for my first one. I'm gonna do it on a lower air flow setting. Hopefully you can hear me. Yeah. See how it kind of catches the hair? Maybe I have too big of a piece. <laughs>
definitely a learning curve with this one. I put it on a lower airflow setting just to see what that would be like. And I think that I definitely need it on the higher setting because it doesn't seem to catch the hair as well. The curl looks pretty good for just using air, um, but it's gonna take some time to get used to this. can see that the curls that I had in there already dropped. I, I'm struggling because um, I go in and I do one piece, curl it, looks great. I go on to the second piece to curl it and it feels like the air is continuing to blow on the other pieces that I just styled and kind of like knocking out the curl that I had. So I'm not sure what's happening here or maybe I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm struggling. I'm definitely struggling with this attachment. I don't know if it's just gonna take me some more time. And maybe I, if I try some uh, pieces on the top of my head, it'll be a little bit easier. That's another thing that even when I take it out, it's just continuing to blow on the hair, which I feel like is not helping it. See that? That's a great curl. Okay, that's cute. You might have noticed what I have been doing is styling the piece in the barrel and then when I'm done turning it off before I pull it out because I feel like the air from this is just like blowing the rest of my hair and ruining the curls. There's probably a way to avoid doing that. I should have looked up some tutorials before I started this video, but so far that technique is working for me. And as you can see, the curl is pretty, pretty good for just using air. Okay, I feel like the round barrel was a little bit of a fail, but I will say it's definitely giving me voluminous, bouncy curls. So I'm really enjoying that. All right, my final thoughts on the Dyson Airwrap Complete. I hate to admit it, but I am really impressed with this product. Did I struggle with the round barrel? Yes, I did, but I'm totally okay with that. I feel like it's just gonna take a few tries to get used to it, master it. I did see online that there is a little bit of a learning curve with it. However, I do feel like there are two pros to it that make it really worth it for me. First of all, it adds a lot of bounce and volume. I already do have pretty natural voluminous hair because I have thick hair, um, but it just adds a really nice bounce to my hair that I don't see a lot. So I'm really happy with that. Also, 
I have damaged hair. I color treated. I've been coloring my hair forever. I have naturally thick frizzy hair, so that is prone to damage. I do feel like it really does protect against heat damage. You can tell when you're using it that it never gets too hot on my head. I'm so impressed with the amount of curl that I can get with just air versus using a curling iron. Like my mind is honestly blown from that. So overall, I'm really happy with this purchase. So I hope you found this video helpful if you're considering purchasing a Dyson Airwrap yourself. I feel like the hair is like, I don't know. It's not, it's definitely not perfect. I know that I'm gonna need to go in with a straightener to finish it up. But anyways, I hope that you found this video helpful if you are considering purchasing a Dyson Airwrap. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.